after losing her six-year-old son to gun violence, an Orangeburg County mother is transforming her pain into purpose. Winston Hunter was killed in a drive-by shooting in the town of Woodford when officials say suspects mistakenly shot into the wrong home, a random act of violence. Our Nick Neville is live tonight in Woodford with more on uh, this mother's mission and how she has made it through the past year. Nick. Yes, Judy. So Courtney Hunter says it's been an emotional roller coaster of a year filled with many ups and downs, and she's been trying to stay busy by ensuring that her son's death was not in vain. One way she's doing that is through this billboard along Highway 321 in Winston's hometown. But she says that's just the beginning. If I just reach one person to put their gun down, I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. In the years since her six-year-old son Winston was killed in a drive-by shooting, Courtney Hunter has forged a new path to keep his memory alive. My new model now is what would Winston do? Uh, Winston had a lot of dreams. He had a lot of things that he had set for himself, even at the age of six. Though small in stature, his family says he was larger than life, with his joy and positive attitude. He loved dancing. He loved having fun. He loved family. Even on his baseball team, somebody may strike out. He is definitely one of those ones be like, it's okay, you got it next time. An encourager, I would say. Winston had the soul of an old man trapped inside a six-year-old's body, his mom says. He once had an assignment at school asking about his hopes and dreams. He put it simply. He dreamed that everyone in the world would be nice. Um, he wanted everyone to get along. That mantra taken up by his mother, who has set up a foundation in Winston's honor, hoping to provide resources and education to other families who've lost loved ones to gun violence. I want to let people know that they are not alone. What I've been through, I do not want another parent, another grandmother, another brother to go through what we have endured. So I will make this the biggest thing. I will be an advocate against gun violence. I will push if that's the last thing I do. Courtney says her heart dropped when she heard about this week's mass shooting at Meadow Lake Park in Columbia. She says she was reminded of the fact that Winston died just six days before his kindergarten graduation, and her heart goes out to all those high schoolers experiencing this trauma before they graduate. Reporting in Orangeburg County, Nick Neville, WIS News 10. Nick, our thanks to you for sharing that story and our thanks to Winston's mother for being able to share her grief and her mission to honor his legacy as well. The Family's Foundation, through the eyes of Winston, is hosting a Stop the Gun Violence Parade. That is happening next Saturday in the town of North. The walk starts at 10.30 a.m. at North High School.